in particular their their young up and coming star Tyrese Halliburton said I've not won a thing in my life he's still smarting from not winning a medal with USA basketball Nikola Jokic now I know those great players make it easy but he's a plug and play no matter where he's been all nearly goes out of bounds both champ try to go to the rim Matherin running the floor but couldn't handle a pass and that's the first turnover for Indiana. Have not been as good defensively. They lost, obviously, some key players, especially Drew Holiday. But their fourth quarter defense has been good overall. Matherin trying to get free. He does. Comes up short. Rebound deflected out. To Lillard racing up the floor. Goes inside, drawing some contact. Missed the shot. Portis tips it. Matherin will bring it up for the Pacers. Tournament, what does this game feel like intensity-wise? Uh, you can see his building. Um, everybody got off to a slow start trying to get adjusted to this new atmosphere. With the Raptors, part of the uh, coaching staff that won the title of 2019, 15 years as an assistant, played nine years. It makes him feel like he's prepared for this job. Nick Nurse, Billy Donovan, uh, Rick Pitino, Tyne right. Thibodeau. Portis out on the perimeter guard and healed. Matherin. Ooh, that was blocked there by Beauchamp right there. <laughs> That's that length you were talking about, Doris. Pacers on the move again. Nice pass. Matherin goes at Giannis. And the Tedekupo deflects it out of bounds. Still pace the ball. They can also be beat by anyone. They lose at home to the Blazers. They lose at home to the Hornets. These are wins that you've got to have if you want to take championship aspirations and go to the next level. You're going to make a lot of mistakes, and you've got to be able to... I mean, he's a championship head coach, right? So you've got to be able to live with a lot of things. Oh, Lopez <laughs> deflected it. Didn't see it coming. There's the unselfishness. Exactly. And Pace and point right there. Pacers by five. Matherin. Well, he is one confident player. And think about this. He started the season off starting in the starting lineup. God. Rolls reversed. Matherin now on a Tedekupo and a foul. They were not going to count the basket. Nope, they say the foul came. Two shots from point blank range. Matherin, his floater. Topping offensive rebound and comes out of the pack. Lillard. Draws the foul. More third quarter point opportunity. They have 24 points. Matherin. Three pointer won't go. Beasley has it. Remember, the pace is the only team. Cameron Payne looking. Matherin does a good job guarding it. Kind of cool ball until he grabs it. <laughs> Here in the third quarter. Payne blocked from behind. Matherin the rejection. Quickly ahead to Nimhard. Goes right at Lillard. Layup is good. How about Nimhard off the bench here in the third? For Milwaukee. Imhard tied up. Matherin gets a good clean look and hits a three. And the reason he's <laughs> wide open is because of an ABC tip off shortly after 8:40. And talking about the Bucks in that 43 point third quarter. That's the ninth guy on the floor, and T.J. McConnell gets that tip in. Well, he has had an excellent game off the bench. Middleton sidestep, couldn't finish though. Bochamp gathers, draws the foul, and at Lopez. Aaron Neesmith, fearless. And a, and a technical, technical foul. foul. Is that Cameron Payne? Oh, no, that's Beauchamp. Or was it Payne with the tech? Both Buck players were in the same. I think it's against Cameron. Shots to get him here against Boston. And how about that little finish by Matherin? Yeah, Halliburton has to say that he does. Shot clock at seven. Matherin the drive. Pulls up. Jump shot. Middleton grabs it. Still plenty of time. And the young, hungry Pacers with another impressive victory. They're heading to the championship game of the in-season tournament.